What a mess. Welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> it is Sunday. Papa came home yesterday. So last night was the first night back. Um, He's more lucid than he was the last time I filmed for you guys or gave you an update here, which wasn't, it was sometime last week. They moved him um, at the nursing home to a ward that was by the nurse's station and had more um, people on it. And they were able to, yeah, he improved so much there. Um, so he got discharged yesterday. So yesterday was just a busy day because obviously getting him home, a hospice nurse met us there. There was just all kinds of questions and things to answer. And, you know, it's like coming home from a vacation and you got to unpack and laundry and sort where everything was and getting him settled. He does have a hospital bed here now, but I have doctored it up with extra mattress pads and new sheets and all things. Although I did order another mattress pad because I went to Walmart and they only had the twin. They didn't have twin XL. It needs a twin XL. So I ordered another one. I'll just keep this one as a backup. Um, so, you know, bedding. I've also gone ahead and uh, ordered some adaptive pants, um, like after surgery pants, the kind that tear away so I can change him because he cannot get up to use the bathroom. So we are using briefs, but the kind that have the straps, not the pull-ups. So technically it should be easier, but it's still difficult, but I'm learning. I've been watching YouTube videos about how to do that, how to get him out of bed and all the things. So mostly he stays in bed and he's content. He's watching TV. He has his little snacks again. The dogs are there. And at some point in the day, he'll want to move out to the living room and sit out there and do the same thing. So this is all about just keeping him safe and comfortable. Last night, about 10 o'clock, he started, he was wide awake and laughing funny. I'm like, oh, she, here comes the sundowning. So I gave him two Tylenol PM, plus they gave me a prescription for like if he's kind of acting up and anxious. So I gave one of those, knocked him right out and he slept all night long. So whatever works. They, that's what they said. We're just going to figure out whatever works. Um, he ate his breakfast this morning. Well, about 10. He wasn't ready until about 10. So I bought him a cereal and all that stuff. So I just need to learn how to change the pads. Thus far, it looks like we're going to have a nurse twice a week and then an aide come three times a week to bathe him. We can increase that and we'll have to see how it goes. I might need to increase that if I'm feeling like I'm not keeping him clean enough in the bathroom. The nurse had said, oh, there's orders in here to put the catheter back in. And first I was like, oh no. Now I'm like, can we put the catheter back in? But then he pulls it out. See, that's the problem. And this is TMI. So if you don't like, you know, medical stuff, skip. But he messes with the pad. Like if he's going to the bathroom, I think he thinks, oh, I'm going to the bathroom. I need to, you know, put my hands down there and like I'm in the bathroom and then it's everywhere. So now I've piled, I've, he's got the pad on plus a, I have dog pads, um, pee pads. So I tucked one of those around him and put a towel over him. So hopefully it'll like stop him from, cause then his hands and his t-shirt, it was everywhere. I'm not good with this fluid stuff. So we're figuring that out. Um, but he's happy and content. I haven't, I gave him Tylenol this morning, but I haven't had to give him any of the other pain meds that they sent home or muscle reacts or probably when I move him to the living room, I will, cause it's moving. That's really bad. So before he wants to move, I'll give him a pain pill and a muscle relaxer, settle him down and then move him. So that is the update for what's going on right now. I want to get back into like my regular vlogging schedule. I did put up those two Lost Island videos. Going forward, I'm not going to be doing like full length Lost Island videos because I have, I can't put that time and effort into that. But like if I'm able to go over there for an hour or so, I'll just incorporate it into a regular vlog. So, but now I have some Etsy orders <laughs> that came in yesterday and I need to get those ready to go out tomorrow. And I did want to say thank you for all of the comments. I haven't read them all, but I've been reading some. So many of you are going through the same thing or you've been through the same thing. So that makes everybody feel better when people share like that. So that's good. So hopefully if you're in the situation, you read the comments and see a lot of other people have been through it too. So it's very, very helpful just to know that this isn't like the only time in history this has ever happened. It happens to a lot of people 
and a lot of people have to be caregivers and deal with it. So thank you so much for that. I do appreciate it. Okay, here are the three orders. I do wanna say thank you to those of you who have been placing orders. I know some of you are regulars and placed um, orders and they didn't get filmed and I apologize for that because everything was going on, but I, I saw your names, I appreciated them. I made sure to tuck lots of freebies in for you. So thank you again. Um, this morning I've sold one of the Iowa magnets, one of the London, I call this a car magnet. The other reason I do like refrigerator magnet, car magnet is because there's two separate categories on Etsy that they go under. Um, and then someone else bought three of the rainbow stickers. They got the classic rainbow here with um, the holographic finish. And then they got the one I have with the clouds a holograph and a matte version. Look at these cool stickers I had made from Sticker Mule. So they now offer glitter. I did a rainbow one um, that I've shown you guys, but it only did the outside because it needs white. I figured that out. It needs white to be the glitter. So I made these for package enclosures. It's a sticker, vinyl sticker with the glitter. Isn't that cool? So yeah, if you have a design and it's got white in it, so cool. I do have my link for Sticker Mule below. Um, if you're a new customer, you get $10 off with that link. And then I get a $10 credit. So it's win-win. But I love these. How cool. Papa sound asleep. <laughs> Got that sign over there. Don't get up. He can't, though. I don't think he can physically do it anyway unless he's sundowning, then he can do all the things. Okay, it's 12.20. I've actually been very productive. I need to get myself exactly on my dad's sleep schedule. You know, he used to be able to at least get himself up, go to the bathroom, um, get dressed. Like he wore, like I put his socks on at night and he just wore those anymore, but he could get himself his, a new shirt and pants and get himself out to the kitchen dining area where I would lay out his breakfast and he could have that and sit down and watch TV. That's, I'm not doing that anymore. So I need to be up when he's awake. Um, so I need to start trying to go to bed earlier, which is actually fine because I'm exhausted anyway. So, um, but he is sound asleep in there, which is good. It's great. I haven't given him any extra of the medications. Um, so he hasn't had the pain pill or muscle relaxant and that's fine. So he can sleep as much as he wants. And then he said eventually he might like to come out here, but if he's comfortable in there, that's okay. I did go on Amazon and order a different, I think I said that already. I'm sorry. As I get back in here, my brain is just fogged. I don't even know what I told you already today, but I ordered another mattress topper that'll fit the, um, but come on, Charlie. So, and I worked on my book. What's wrong? Uh-oh. There's barking. What's wrong? I'm the only one here. Why are you barking at me for? What's the problem? I also have been eating these for like a lunch breakfast. I don't really eat during the day. I just eat one meal a day. Kind of like intermittent fasting, but only because I'm lazy. But I do like these Nature Valley protein bars. They're not like a protein bar that you get with all the chalky gunk in it. I think basically the protein comes from the fact that there's nuts in here. Now, am I supposed to have nuts because of my diverticulitis? No, but I chew them really well, so leave me alone. <laughs> and now I think I'm gonna watch From on MGM+. Plus. If I, I never would've thought that I was somebody who liked horror. I don't really think of myself as liking horror, but it's just, it's so good. It's from the um, people who created Lost, and Harold Panettiere, who played Michael on Lost, is in it. And I absolutely love it. And a new episode dropped just now. So I think I'm going to eat my bar and watch that. Right, Charlie? Charlie says, I was barking for no good reason other than I can bark. Are you tired too? Is it time for nap number five? Say hi okay. to the camera. Hi, camera. How are you feeling? Wonderful. Wonder nice and snug and comfortable, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. better. I'm feeling better. Yeah. I just gave you some medication to make you feel even better. <laughs> Teddy, are you happy Papa's home? <laughs> Why did we have to jump up like that? Huh? Are we going, Charlie? Oh, Charlie wants over there. Oh, I suppose we want to go out again. Because we can't just sit down and relax. No way. We got to be up doing stuff. 
and sniffing, sniffing pits. Downstairs now with the little bit of eBay inventory that is currently listed. I want to get more, but I just sold this dollhouse. It's like a tape or the floor candelabra. I don't know. Anyway, it's sold with free shipping and the shipping is going to be like $4. So it's not a huge profit, but it's been sitting there a while. I think everything in my store is 30% off right now, at least as I'm filming this. Um, so anyway, Find a little box for this guy and get him out tomorrow. Well, it is three o'clock and I am out. I had to go to Target to pick up some more stuff, just like a drive up order. And then I am at Longhorn Steakhouse getting myself a salad and my pita and chip cheese dip thing that I like. Um, and then I'm gonna go get my dad a frappe. He will not eat this food, so it's not like I'm not getting him dinner. He won't eat it, but he'll eat a frappe. So I am feeling very overwhelmed right now. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about like medical, you know, hospicey things here. So if that's, you don't wanna hear that kind of stuff, don't listen to the next part. But I know a lot of you have been through the same thing or going through the same thing. So my biggest two struggles now are the bathroom issue. Now, when he is awake and alert, I can get him to use the urinal, great. But in the night when he goes in the pad and then last night he just messed with it and everything was wet. It was just a big honking mess. Um, so obviously if I'm awake during the day, I can get him to use the urinal, but at night I've got a big mess to clean up. So I need, what I'm doing is we've got the briefs and then I have doggy pee pads and then a towel. So I'm kind of like tucking all of that around him to maybe stop him from messing with it because he gets confused and I think he thinks, oh, I've got to go to the bathroom. I got to put my hand down there and help the situation when no, that makes a big mess. Um, so that's problem one I'm trying to figure out. And then two is moving him. Now, I was watching these videos about how to transfer somebody like from the bed to the wheelchair and everything. Those videos that I've watched only work if the person can stand. Like you can support them, they can kind of lean on you, but they need to hold their legs up. He can't do that. So getting him out of the bed and into the wheelchair and then in from the wheelchair to the couch was very difficult. Um, my back is throbbing. I hurt my wrist. So we'll have to address that with the social worker and the nurse and the aides because I just don't know what to do. I, I just can't. He can't stand. He, and he, then he's asked me, so when am I going to like be up walking and stuff again? I'm like, I don't think you are. When he was with therapy, they were he. There was a couple of times where he did kind of walk along with the walker. They were there with him with the belt and everything, but he seemed like he was doing it. But I haven't seen that since he's been home. Um, now he is alert and he's happy, so that's good. Last night around ten o'clock, he was getting a little too happy, a little too chatty. <laughs> the <laughs> creepy laugh, which means here comes the sundowning. So I. Um, gave him Tylenol PM and this relaxer thing they gave me to like calm restlessness and stuff. And that completely knocked him out for the night. So that was good. He made the mess, but at least he wasn't trying to get out of bed. So dealing with the bathroom and he hasn't pooped yet. And I'm like, shit, literally. <laughs> When's he going to do that? I'm going to have to clean that up. So, yeah, that's the struggle right now. The bathroom and then transfer. Um, the nurse told me that they could get an aid in every day if I needed it. And it might be that because I can't, I just can't. If he, He's like dead weight. And for me to then deal with that on my own and try to clean him. So, yeah. I'm a little overwhelmed because I know, crap, I'm going to have to get him back in bed. But like I said, hopefully tonight I can figure out a better system to get him to, so his pads are all wrapped up and he doesn't mess with it. That's what he did, you know, like when he was at the skilled nursing, he pulled his catheter out because the nurse had said, oh, it looked like they were going to put the catheter back in. And that's really to help you as a caregiver. And I'm like, well, yeah, that's great. Except he pulls it out all the time. He pulled it out three times there because at night he's, he just, he's confused. He's just half asleep, half awake, confused. And he, you can't be like, don't pull your catheter out. And he wakes up in the middle of the night, half sleep and rips it out. And that's a big, and that's another mess. So I'm just, I'm struggling here with those two things. Fortunately, like I guess said though, he's happy and he's like eating his little snacks. So that's good. Um, you know, he's, if I give him food and stuff, I got more oranges for him. So he's kind of back in that schedule of what he would eat and drink. 
So that's good. He had a cereal this morning. So that's good. Um, we'll just need to figure out these other things. So I think the social worker was going to call hopefully tomorrow. I, I just kind of like I'm waiting. I'm just waiting for them to call me and, and tell me what the schedule is going to be with the aides coming and cleaning him because he needs that. I do my best, but it's not like a professional who's trained in how to move them and everything and do a, we got the bench for the shower, but I don't think that's going to work. I don't, I don't know if he can't stand. So I'll have to do it in bed. So I'm doing another load of laundry because all the bedding got yucky and oh, my back hurts. <laughs> mm. So anyway, but at least he's in a good mood. He said I was his favorite person, so I'm like, mm-hmm. And I'm sure he'll drink the frappe when I bring it. He wasn't really liking them when he was there, but also, you know, everything was weird there. He just was all out of sorts, so. I'll have his frappe. I'll have some oranges. He's got his snacks. Oh, the other thing I had to get from Target was more boost drinks. Now, they've told me that they think they can get me, like, his boost and sure and that stuff. Normally, I would get it at Sam's Club. They've been out of it for ages. It's back in stock online. They can ship it to me, but I can't pick it up. So I ordered just a, a small case at Target. It was like $20 for 12 bottles. Like, oh my God. So it's a lot better deal than Sam's, but hopefully they can get it for me. And also he's going to be getting benefits from the Veterans Association probably, which I didn't know he was eligible for, but my friend works there and she messaged me. She's like, yeah, he's under the income requirement and should be able to get it. So yay, that's paperwork I got to fill out and finish that. But that'll just be like stacked services. You know, I, I am all for the services. How much, what are the services and how can we get them? As many as you can get for them. Because yeah, I'm struggling with just the two things, moving and bathroom. So anyway, okay. Well, that part of the video is over that talk. So I'm just waiting here for my food to be ready. And then I will, I haven't been to the McDonald's by me in a couple weeks. I, well, the people who recognize me, they usually work weekdays. I'm like, they probably won't remember who I am. Anyway, it's cold out today almost. It's crazy. It's been so hot here, awful hot. And now it's like almost cold. It's crazy, but anyway, I'm sure it'll get hot again. At least we're not having all that smoke from Canada. You Canadian people, we're all smoky in here in the States, not here in Iowa, but in the, um, Eastern. Was well, it all through the north and the east? They have, like New York practically disappeared the other day. It was so smoky. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. They're like, we're sending firefighters, more firefighters to Canada. What's going on up there? Are you guys okay? Because by the looks of the smoke we're getting, I don't know if Canada's still there or not. So two more Etsy orders just came in. Uh, first one is for an I Hate People and a Go Away um, sticker. And then the other is for two of the Crazy Cat Dad magnets. And that's a wrap on today's video. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Also check the description box below the video for all of my links. You can find links to my books, my eBay store, my Etsy shop, and more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.